Hi, my name is Linnea Halpert. I'm 22 years old and I'm a second year student here at the University of Toronto Faculty of Dentistry. I definitely have a few coping mechanisms that I use when I'm stressed or anxious. Generally speaking, I like to make sure that I have a routine. I need to make sure that I'm eating and I'm sleeping because I think in order for me to function 100%, I need to be treating my body well. So if I'm in an immediate stressful situation, then I generally turn to myself and I say, Linnea, take three deep breaths, just do your best and go for it. And this came from what my mom used to say to me growing up. I like to put things into perspective. So for example, rather than looking at a full term's worth of work that I need to get done, because that will obviously cause some stress, I try to remind myself to focus on the task at hand. This is what I need to get done today, or this is what I need to get done this week. I think that currently one of my main stressors in life is friend and family relationships. And unfortunately, um, a lot of this has to do with health issues and situations that aren't necessarily fixable. And I think that's something that was a struggle for me was that I want to be there for my loved ones, but I feel like just being there hasn't been enough because I want to be able to fix a situation. And so I have to remind myself that all I can do is be there for them and that I can't fix every situation. I have a couple of things that I reach for when I'm at a low point. If I'm feeling like I don't yet have the words to express myself, then I'll generally gravitate towards my dancing shoes. And that's when, again, I haven't really found the words to say how I'm feeling. But I also think it's really important that we do talk about our feelings and we don't keep things bottled up. And I know that when I'm ready for that, I have a great support system with my family and my friends and even my dental school friends. And I think that it's really important that we remember we're our own little family and we're the only ones that can truly understand what each other are going through. And as much as it's great to talk about all the good things that are going on in our lives, it's also really important to talk to one another about the low points, to help each other understand that we're all in this together and we're here for one another. I think I was fortunate from a young age to learn what resilience meant to me. I was little and I was told that I was never gonna be able to walk and that I would be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. I decided that I wasn't gonna take no for an answer. And I knew that that meant a lot of physical therapy and wearing leg braces and generally just working hard for something that came naturally to a lot of the kids and people around me. But I think it says more about your character by the way you're able to bounce back from a tough situation. And I think it's really important that we have the highs in life, but also the lows, because without those low points, you're not able to truly appreciate the great things that you have. And in my personal opinion, um, everything good in life is worth fighting for. Thank you.